Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, we are going to discuss about product analytics. So in my channel, we have seen a lot of videos on UI, UX, product management, etc. But product analytics forms a main part of the product development process, product management, and even designing. That is UI, UX, right? So let's understand what product analytics is. So what is product analytics? So product analytics is following a set of best practices in data analytics to understand about the users, the business and the product usage. So to, to dive deeper inside, so how, how product analytics works is first you define how the data is collected. So it's collected in a manner that is easy to analyze uh, what users are doing, right? So a basic example would be product analytics helps you to understand what users are doing inside your app or website right so often people confuse about marketing analytics and product product analytics marketing analytics is more of from where the users are coming the traffic right the acquisition mainly focus on acquisition so let me explain you the funnel so first is acquisition how the users come to our website next is activation okay i like this app i'm signing up for that next is retention okay I come back like twice in a day or I come back once in a week, right? How, how frequently I visit, the stickiness, engagement, how much time I spend in that, right? Re referral and revenue. Okay, I like the app, I'm referring that app to other, other like my friends, etc. Revenue is how the business makes revenue, right? So that's a good, like kind of you need to understand this. So in the funnel, especially after the acquisition, activation, retention, engagement is mainly measured by product analytics. So product analytics will help you to understand what pro users are doing inside your product, right? How much time are they spending? What are the activities are they doing? So for example, let's say, let's understand YouTube, right? So YouTube as a product, so the product analyst would measure, okay, how much time a user is spending by, by watching videos or how much videos he watches a day and how frequently he comes to the app. How much time he spends in a single session, right? And how many playlists he's saving, right? How many videos he save for later and then he's watching. So these are the kind of metrics that, that a product analyst would measure at YouTube. Okay, then how, how where is, what's the difference between a product analyst and data analyst and how does a product analyst help the product managers and, and the business strategy team, right? So what kind of scenarios where product analytics is important let me tell you so let's say i have a set of features which i want to build to improve engagement right so in this case a product analyst would help okay which feature should i prioritize uh, and build first second is i have a set of features which are already there in the app and which is not performing well okay i want to remove it no user is using it right and the third is what is the activity when a user performs he becomes a convert like he pays for the app so let's say example like after i order 20 orders in swiggy i have higher chances to become a swiggy one member so after 20 orders i i, I give you an offer okay convert to swiggy one at 10 percent offer like like that right to understand this kind of intelligent okay what is the activity after which a user would get converted or he would pay for the service right so for example there are a lot of uh, edutech platform which provide free content so their use of product analytics they would understand how much free courses are they watching after a certain point they'll pitch you like they'll give you offers to buy their paid courses so this is also a kind of product analyst job where they measure what is the point of time where the user is activated and he can be converted right uh, how much he is engaged in that let's say even youtube premium right how much time you spend on YouTube and YouTube sometimes like pulls, pulls a pop up. Hey, hey, you have a free YouTube premium and it doesn't come to everyone. I think so it comes to a set of people who spend a, a larger amount of time on YouTube. So this is about product analytics. So product analytics mainly helps to understand the product usage based on business goals. So there's a business goal. There's a product goal. And based on that, you, you have a set of metrics which you measure. Product analytics also helps to measure a success of a feature or a product. Okay, you launch a feature and are users using it, right? If not using it, why? It also helps you to understand the entire journey 
of a user in an app or website. So let's say, for example, in Netflix, right? So once a user signs up, so once once user clicks on signs up, he comes to the payment page, he pays, then he then he has a set of onboarding steps, and then he starts watching web series and movies. Okay. So in this, I want to measure where is the major drop off happening. So for this product analytics is you. So let's say I understand. In the payment page, I ask some extra information, right? It's it's very lengthy. I ask card information and all. So I introduce UPI as a product manager. I understand, okay, this is where users are dropping. So I might include like UPI, a QR code based payment, right? Where just people can scan and pay, pay for the Netflix subscription. Something like that. Just an example, right? So next is we'll discuss about product analytics tool. So what are product analytics tools? So these are a set of tools or a single product which helps product managers and business team to understand how the product is used by the users and how it has impact on the business. So there are a lot of tools. Some examples are Mixpanel, Pendo, etc. Clever Tab. So how these use uh, tools are used is so there are several ways to select a tool. So the first first thing we need to look is how how is the data collected right is it easy to integrate with our existing tech stack how is the data collected via the tool and how much effort it involved to get configure the tool and how is other features like reporting creating dashboard for stakeholders is it happening in real time and some other advanced features like is there a way to test the a b testing capability of a product okay i launch a product I launched two versions of the product, version A, version B. I want to compare which one is performing well. Is there any existing feature that is available in the product analytics tool for that purpose, right? So the, there are a lot of product analytics tool and there are several ways in which you can like measure which product analytics tool is, is the best one. And uh, these tools enable you to improve your user experience. Right. So once you understand what is, what are the user's goal and what how he is achieving through the app, you can also make the journey of other users in the same way. Right. So that they achieve the goal. It's more of how you help you, how you understand users better with the help of data and help them achieve their goals. When they achieve their goals, they pay for their pay for the uh, goal they achieve. Right. They pay for the product as a result, business gets benefited. So in terms of uh, reporting, right. There are kind of two two types of like ways in which data is collected. So the first one is like explicit tracking and implicit tracking. So what are this two two ways of tracking is like in explicit the only only those events are captured which have been programmatically already set or configured, right? There's no history of data available. Implicit it where all the events are captured by default. When you configure it, the, the history of data is also available. So let me tell you with the example, right? L let's say there's a default event known as views and that is getting captured. And I did not ca like configure an event known as click, button click, right? In explicit, the button click is not captured because it's not configured, right? But in implicit, the button click is captured and it is and the data is sent to the analytics tool. And when you configure the event, you'll see, okay, this button click, right? So by default, most of the data are captured and historical data is available. Once you configure the button click, you will be able to see, okay, in the last two months, what was how many number of clicks happen in this way? Something like that. So there, so you can also become a product analyst. So you need to have like a product sense as well as a data sense. And the average salary of a product analyst in India is 11 lakhs per annum. And it's a very interesting role because you, 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 you kind of, you're in a difference, like you are in the center of the business tech product and you help all of them. You enable them to take decisions, right? So yeah, it's, it's a very uh, interesting role to be frank. So let me know if you like the video, do like, share and subscribe to this YouTube channel and don't forget to click on the notification button right so that when i post a new video you you are the first one to get notified and also in comments tell what what is the other topic you want me to talk about thank you and have a great day